Hey guys, uh, thanks for tuning back in. Here's the uh, completed cabinet now. I've uh, got all the epoxy in with the uh, fiberglass reinforcement and the epoxy is still uh, setting up so it's still got uh, a ways to go to completely cure. But uh, working with this uh, product was actually simple. Uh, first mistake I made was make up too much epoxy. A little goes a long ways and I ended up using these syringes here. Mark the red one here for the hardener and the blue and again it was five parts to one. So uh, very little hardener actually needed. So uh, next steps for me, again you can see I taped this off and a lot of these big voids where I thought I would end up having to use the uh, this adhesive filler in some of these areas actually just took care of themselves. Uh, with the epoxy itself. So I may use uh, very little of this product, but I'll probably end up using a lot of the uh, fairing filler. And uh, that's what I'll do to build up um, these areas here after doing some uh, sanding with some coarse sandpaper uh, around this area or medium grade sandpaper and just kind of build this up and then uh, try to bring all these uh, contours uh, back in place and um, make it feel good to the touch. Um, kind of got a big gap in here, so again, we'll look and see if I use the uh, fairing filler in this area or more the uh, general filler. The other side of the radio is really not bad at all. It's uneven, and I know it's uh, probably not showing up well on camera, but uh, I'll have to do some sanding here again, and we'll use the uh, fairing filler here as well. So again, we'll uh, probably use more of this product mixed in with the epoxy resin, the hardener, to get the uh, the density that I want and uh, let that cure and then we'll uh, sand it off again to get the uh, desired result and then we'll move on to uh, priming the uh, cabinet or try to match it the existing bake light I'll play around with. Anyway, at least we got this thing back together now and uh, we've got a cabinet now that the chassis can be uh, mounted into.